News 8 honoring our veterans with our big Vets Rock event. Big night honoring veterans for their service at the Mohegan Sun. And there's a bunch of events going on tonight. Even a rock concert. And News 8's Jackie Slater is there live tonight with how things are looking there. Hi, Jackie. Yeah, good evening. What a great day all around. The energy level just through the roof here. As of 1 o'clock, the number of veterans that had pre-registered for the career fair and expo and as well as walk-ins had already exceeded the number from last year. So a great turnout. The big concert set to begin at 730. But for now, we want you to take a look at some of today's highlights. My name is Kurt Ramsey. I was with the U.S. Navy and I'm from Norwich, Connecticut. Hey, I'm Tammy Perry. I'm from Deep River and I serve with the Connecticut National Guard. I'm Pamela Cutt. I'm from Lee, Massachusetts and I'm serving in the United States Air Force Reserves. A packed room full of energy. Veterans and current service members coming together to support one another on their journey in life outside of the military. This is Vets Rock 2016. Organized by Justin Nash of Till Duty Is Done and the Tribal Council at Mohegan Sun. I'm feeling overwhelmed and um, overwhelmed in a good way because the response has been so strong. Um, it's really already looking like at least double what we had for last year. I think we have some irreversible momentum going on here. There's, there's greater attendance, there was greater pre registration, and you can feel it. The energy in the room is high. The Expo Center filled with veteran support services and more than 100 companies, all with open positions and all looking to hire a few good men and women. Companies like General Dynamics, FedEx, and Nine Line Apparel. Carl Butsky, Oakdale, Connecticut. I served with the 102nd Infantry out of Manchester. I'm uh, Nathan Millark. I'm from um, Michigan, and I'm active duty in Grand Connecticut at the subbase. So I'm Janelle Medina. I'm from Chicopee, Massachusetts. I'm currently in the Air Force Reserves and I serve at a Westover Air Reserve Base. Air Force, Army, Coast Guard, Marine Corps, and Navy, all represented. One of the most popular attractions, the Save a Suit booths, helping America's heroes get dressed for success. Outside of the expo, a celebration fit for America's finest. Or the land of the free and the And again, just an amazing day. Coming up at 6, we're going to take a look at something new here this year. They have veteran-owned businesses. Those veteran businesses are here showcasing some of their products. We're also going to hear from some former high-ranking officials on why it was important for them to be here as well. Reporting live at Mohegan Sun, Jackie Slater, News 8.